Okay, boys and girls, in this video, we are going to be taking a look at how you can animate Unreal Engine 5 MetaHuman. Now, this is June update because with the recent MetaHuman update, they added an IK rig for MetaHumans. So we no longer have to do this manually. So this is perfect timing. And if you are just starting out with Unreal Engine, I know a lot of people are starting to jump in Unreal Engine 5 MetaHuman stuff, even more so now with the recent addition of Mesh to MetaHuman. Uh, this is gonna be an easy one for you. But basically this is how you animate a MetaHuman if you don't have a mocap suit or you don't wanna manually animate it by hand. You can always go to the marketplace and find some pre-made animations and just retarget those animations to your metahuman and that's pretty much how i got started a year and a half ago all right so the first thing we're going to do is actually go ahead and add the animations we're going to be using into our unreal engine project now whenever you're purchasing animations from the marketplace you have to make sure of one thing now if you're a newbie you got to make sure that if you're getting an animation and you want to follow along with this tutorial you need to make sure that your animations are rigged to the epic skeleton now eventually in the future pretty much majority of everything is probably going to be rigged to the ue5 skeleton so we don't have to worry about this but for now this is how you do it if you have the older versions okay so i'll add this to our project and the title of our project is called mixed to meta because it was in my former meta human tutorial in Mixamo. And I'll minimize this and we'll go back to our project now. I just change it to let mode. Now, this is not really all cinematic. I just put a rec light on top of her. I'll press G here. And uh, I'm using the crowd character close from the Matrix demo, which I made a tutorial about. Check it out in the top right corner of this video so I can show you. Now, I didn't do any masking or anything like that. So this is pretty sloppy. And additionally, this is the girl that I made in the Mesh to Meta Human. First things first, we are going to go ahead and check out our finisher animations. So I'll double click this and I'll look at the animations, make sure that everything is good. And that looks good. And then we'll go to our skeleton right here. And we're just going to do a couple of things. Show retargeting options. And we'll make sure that root is animation, pelvis is animation, but everything else needs to be skeleton. So go ahead and press that. Shift, click, right click, and translation to retargeting skeleton. All right, I'll minimize this now. And then after that, let's go back to my root folder content. And now we're going to add a feature. So add feature content pack. And we're going to be adding the third person. Now we're doing this because this third person asset template has some IK rigs and retargeter rigs. So we don't have to create from scratch, which is amazing. Which I'll show you that right now. If I go to content and I'll go to characters, go to UE4 mannequin, you're going to see that there is a rig a retargeter and a retargeter, which is perfect. So I'm gonna go back to my mannequin UE4. I'm gonna go to the mesh and I'm gonna double click the skeleton. And then I'll make sure that this one is also set up correctly. Animation, animation. Okay, everything is good. Now there's a couple of ways on how you can do this next step. But for me, you just go to windows, asset details and compatible skeleton, put a check mark on there and choose another UE4 mannequin skeleton. And if you type UE4 right here, you're gonna see two mannequins for UE4. You have one from the hand-to-hand -hand finisher volume and you have one from the third person template. So we're gonna be using the hand-to-hand -hand for this one. Save it and then close it. And what we're gonna do next is go to the hand-to-hand -hand mannequin. And basically what we're doing is we're just combining the two. Because they're all compatible, they're all in the same post, and they all pretty much share the same bone names. So this is pretty easy. Press plus, and again, I'll type in UE4. And again, I'm going to choose the other one now, which is from the third person template. Save that, and then X, and then minimize. And then if I go back to my content folder, go to characters, UE4, rigs, and I open up the IK rig, you're now going to see that it has all the animations from the pack that we downloaded from the marketplace. Now I know this is a lot harder than it used to be, but this is just how it is now, all right? We're gonna have to face the facts that you can no longer just right click and retarget. This is gonna be it for now. So this is good. The IK now is working. And now if I go to content, this is the thing that they added recently whenever they released the new MetaHumans. If I go to MetaHumans, common, common, now you're going to see that there is an IK meta human rig now created. So again, we don't have to do all these crazy stuff from scratch. It's already here. So I'll minimize this because what I want to do is I want to make sure that that skeleton is also set up. 
So I'll click on the meta human, go to body, and I'll click on the skeletal mesh right here, this browse, and I'm gonna double click this, go to skeleton of this, go to this gear, and then go to retargeting options, make sure root and pelvis is set to animation, and everything else is skeleton. So hold shift, right click, retargeting skeleton, press save. I'll close this now, so that's good. And now I'm gonna go to my meta humans, common, common, and take a look at this. So that's good. And we have the preview already set up, so that's good as well. Okay, let me go ahead and save this just in case we crash. I mean, that rarely happens in Unreal, but we just kind of make sure. All right, so let's go back to our content, characters folder, UE4 mannequin, and we're gonna go to our rigs. We're gonna go to the RTG UE4 Manny to UE5 Manny, double click that. And now you're gonna see the UE4 mannequin in the UE5 mannequin, but we don't need that one. We're actually going to go ahead and replace that with the IK Meta Humans. Yay! So that's already set up. And the target preview mesh, you can change this to F, medium, but it's already here, but it's okay. If it's not there, that's how you do it right here. All right. So now if I click on this, oh my gosh, what in the heck is going on here? Well, as you all know, the UE4 mannequin has less bones than the Meta Human. So what we're going to have to do is go to chain mapping. And if you look at this chain mapping, you're going to see root is going to root, spine, spine, head to head, left clavicle to left clavicle. Those all look good, but whenever you start going to the metacarpals, this is the issue. Go ahead and start taking these off. Go to none. And again, this is not documented, people. This is just me in here messing some stuff up, and I found it to work. Again, this is not the official way. I'm just in here, you know I, how I learn things. I just break things and see what works. So if if this is not the official way, I'm sorry, but this is how I got it to work. All right, so I'm gonna take off the metacarpal for that as well. And then the middle, and you're gonna see something really funky here in a second. Take this as well. I'm gonna leave the uh, twist is okay. Clavicle to clavicle arm, and I'm gonna go ahead and change this here. And if you look at this, right ring metacarpal is tied into right thigh twist one. That is a big no-no. So right middle. So sometimes whenever you're getting some funky results, go ahead and check your chain mapping here. So we got right ring metacarpal is okay. And then the index, we're also going to take that off. Twist, twist, twist. Right leg, because the uniform mannequin does not have those metacarpals bones. The, the uh, meta humans do. So right leg is good, left leg. All right, so I'm going to save this. And now you're gonna see that fist is correct. So if I go to the Superman punch, now play this back. Now those hands look good, all right? So what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and click one that I like. I think I wanna fist storm attack. This is a really dope one. You see that fist is now fixed with this fist. Save it. And now all we have to do is export selected animations. And I'll create a new folder here for the sake of nicety. Nice. And I'll OK. And that's going to export that animation. Save. And I'll minimize this. And now if we double click this, that Unreal Engine 4 animation is now retargeted to our meta human. Okay, and to test that out, since I do cinematics in that game, I'll go ahead and click on our character here, and I'll create a new sequence. Add level sequence, uh, tutorial is okay, and then I'll add her in here, track, add actor to sequences, layer two, hopefully we don't crash, and then I'll delete the, I'm going to move this up so I can see better, delete this, and in the body, I'm going to track the animation and then put attack. And now, she, bam, 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 look at her. She's like fighting that customer. She's like a barista, and she's fighting that customer who ordered like a mocha cape, mocha latte, malte with a hint of mint, man. Look at this. Yo, she is, she is not happy with that order. She's not happy. But that's pretty much it. That is how you retarget Unreal Engine 4 Mannequin to a metahuman using the new IK metahuman rig. What I really want Epic to do next is a T-pose for a metahuman, like a post asset that puts the metahuman into a T-pose because majority of the motion capture animation 
suits and devices use T pose and not A pose. So if you work for Epic Games and you're watching this video, please add a T pose asset for the meta units. And lastly, before I leave, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this shadow problem that you're seeing right here. So you can see it looks like poop and shiza. All you have to do here is go to R dot ray tracing that normal bias and you can play around with the number here you go to like 0.2 actually let's just go to one and that will get rid of all those shadows for you okay so if you learned something new in this video go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel i'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers this year so i can finally go to sleep like always thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all later